guys welcome to the limbex channel so in today's video i just want to share with you guys some tips to be aware of before you start sfe so sfe is basically swedish for immigrants it's a language um skill so you get to learn the swedish language if you're new to my channel my name is sasha and welcome to limbex channel so let's get into today's video guys so um super early to school so i've just decided okay let me just share with you guys some tips to be aware of before you start your sfi so know your levels because sfe is divided into um, different levels depending on your language skills they have classes a b c d like we started in b and um, there are some people that would start in a and don't worry it doesn't really matter if you start um in a to be honest so the next one is be prepared for fika bus so that's um fika break so even if you're doing a three um hour um lesson or sfe you will still be entitled to fika bus so we start eight o'clock and we finish um 11 45 but we still manage to go for fika break that's also a way to interact with your classmates and learn the language and learn how to converse in swedish language embrace the darkness guys look it's bright sunny now because we're in summer you get to appreciate the summer when there is winter don't let the darkness and um, prevent you from um attending your sfe or you know meeting up with your classmates to you know uh, discuss your uh, your coursework and stuff like that it also gives you extra study time as well four is get ready to work in group guys if you're from nigeria like myself when you're in class i can't really remember ever working in groups but in sfe be prepared to work in groups, which is a good thing because in the class, you've got different countries, different languages. And um, yeah, so you get to interact with your um, your classmates and then um, get to practice your Swedish language as well. So I think that is it for today. I don't want to bombard you guys with a lot. So the first one is know that SFE is divided into different um, levels depending on your language skill. And number two is be prepared for because that's a break time when you get to interact with other people and practice your Swedish um, language skills with your classmates and also embrace the darkness in winter it gets really really dark don't let it um, stop you from attending SFE because it to be honest it gives you extra study time as well and also get prepared to work in groups in SFE there's always lots of group work, guys. Presentation, presentera, you know, studera. <laughs> yeah, so that's my four tips on what to be aware of before you start your SFE. And I'll continue to share with you guys more tips. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.